Hey guys, welcome back. I am Stu and this is Create a Carnage for Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic Time Twister Expansion. You own a dusty old meteor crater. In the true entrepreneurial spirit, you've decided to construct an asteroid theme park and convert your seemingly worthless land into a sizable fortune. Your objective to achieve a park value of at least 100,000 at the end of October year two. Okay then, um, not a huge goal, but it's only two years, so we can't we can't uh, mess about. We have to crack on with the building. Um, we are charging for entry. We've got let's see, we've got a chairlift. We've got a decent selection of gentle rides to begin with. Some nice coasters, plenty to crack on with. Um, decent thrill rides. Um, We've got a splash boats or trailer bike boats as it's called here and some shops, not a bad selection. Okay. So I think what I'll do, I'll put my research into thrill rides. Just get a few more of those unlocked. See what else we've got. Um, let's have a look then. So I suppose the easiest thing to do would be to build a load of flat. No, it won't let me. Kind of would, but I. But no, it's going to be awkward. I was thinking the easiest thing to do would be to build a load of flat rides around the outside and then build other rides on the inside. But with the scenery, I'd have to delete it and I'd rather keep it, to be honest. Um. So I think what I'll do then is I'll build down into the middle. I should be able to get rid of that path. And then rather than having it going up and then back down, have it going flat and then straight down. That should allow it to hug the terrain a bit nicer. And then once I get down to the bottom, I'll place a lot of flat rides around the outside of what's meant to be a, some sort of swamp. And then we could just take it from there. Uh, maybe build some crazy coasters or or something like that but i'm just going to crack on and um i'll see you soon halfway through april year one we've got a park value of just under thirty-three thousand, so we're almost a third of the way to it so i put a, a kiosk and a toilet at the top and then i redid the path so it just looks a lot nicer coming down there and there's a sp spot there would make a nice entrance and exit path for another ride at some point in the future i'm not sure what yet so i've done my path loop all the way around um shops there and here and then i've just been putting a lot of flat rides down from there um so we're charging 40 for entry guests more than happy to pay it um i'm going to carry on putting down whatever flat rides we've got just down here and then once we run out then i'm going to start building some coasters um we it's only a hundred thousand so we can do that pretty much with with flat rides um uh, i'm not going to duplicate them but if i was we could easily do two maybe three hundred thousand just with flat rides alone but um i'm going to have some fun with some coasters on this one junior one we've got a park value of one hundred twenty nine thousand, so we've already beaten the goal we've got all my flat rides just down here um, so what have we got? We've got Magic Carpet, we've got a Roto Drop, we've got Simulator Ride, um, some sort of Dinosaur Twister, Observation Tower, Haunted House, Space Rings, Dodge Gems, Pirate Ship, Spiral Slide, Enterprise and Freefall Tower. And then around the outside then I've got Go-Karts. Test results haven't come back yet, but I've got it going all the way around. So it's, it's going to benefit from having a very long track, plus loads of ups and downs and turns, and also all the scenery is going to give it a nice boost as well. Has it come back yet? Not yet, no. So I think we're pretty much ready to start building some coasters. So the way I've gone crazy with the go karts, I'm thinking we can probably do something similar with the coasters october year one so the first coaster we've got down then is impact it's a corkscrew coaster 
good stats on that. Um, stats will boost your park value. So we've got a park value now, 264,000. The scenario only wants 100,000. So we've already smashed it. We've got another year to go as well. So let's have a look. So this is the first course we built. Quite a long chain lift up to the top, down into a corkscrew, then another one um, that goes over the, the go karts. So that'll give it a nice boost. So the stats are back now, 7.16 for the go karts. That's cool. And then around the bend, back into another inversion and then back to the station and then what have we got now that's the third one i know it doesn't really matter but i do like to do them in order and then the second one then is a the old type stand-up coaster 5.89 intensity 9.91 so that's up at the upper end of the spectrum if it was a 10 or more guests might start refusing to go on it but 9.91 that's fine we want higher stats higher stats equals um better park value so that's fine that's good and any guests that are coming into the park that are feeling quite brave they can go on you so again nice long chain left down into a couple of loops back around another element very similar to the one just over here actually on the corkscrew um nice interactions with the go-karts and then back to the station and then the third one then where do i put the station for it that's ah, just up here by the go karts so we've got the station there comes out around the bend oh there you go just going to the top now put that there so we can see the speed Nice fast sweeping drops, bends, a lot of interactions with the rides. I'll do some playthrough videos at the end of the scenario of the coasters. And then back to the station, nice little break run there. Just so it comes back nice and safe. Cool. So we've got another year to go then. We've got tons of cash. And uh, we're making some good money now so we can just... Um, we're probably not going to have, I mean, with that sort of money, that's enough money to build a coaster every month, but we, I don't think we're going to have enough space unless I built loads and loads of small ones in the middle, which would be a good idea for a park value goal. But since we've already done, since we've already done the target, I don't need to. So I'm just going to build a few, a few large crazy coasters and then, um, I'll see you in a year. October year two. We needed 100,000 park value. We've got 362, so we were never in any danger of not completing it. So I've gone for a very, very large wooden coaster. In hindsight, I probably should have left this one to last because it did make building everything else a bit of a pain um, because of the size of it. So just gone for something a bit crazy. We've got tons of cash, so why not? Um, so we're calling it Meteor again. Good stats, 9.69, 9.98. So it's only a little bit under the intensity threshold, but that's fine. That's adding some good value to it. And then we've got a, no, don't want to look a reg. We've got Force then. Decent stats on this. So it's an inverted hairpin coaster. Just weaving in and out of the, the wooden coaster. Good interactions with that. And then the end of the wooden coaster then i was a bit stuck for somewhere to put another ride so i ended up putting it through one of the loops and then i've had to put the path so we've got the exit path going there but the queue path i've had to bring it all the way back here because that was the only space really that i had in order to get it onto the onto the queue line so i have boxed myself in a bit um so maybe and i didn't want to get rid of the any of the flat rides would have been easier if I did, but I wanted to keep them. So this one, it's, um, what's it like a, it says it's a pterodactyl coaster. So I'm, I'm not sure what sort of coaster it is. If, is it a flying coaster? Um, so I don't, I'm not really sure what, what type of coaster it is. So I've got it going sort of upside down, which is probably a bit silly because 
pterodactyls. I'd imagine they didn't fly upside down. I mean, obviously, I was never there to see it, but um, yeah, so good interactions with the existing coasters going through the loops, back around through the supports, back down, little inline twist, and then back to the station via via break run yeah so this scenario was actually quite fun when i first looked at it i just thought it looked awful um it still looks awful i suppose probably even worse now i built all these coasters but um as it's only a two-year goal it's okay it's it's quite quick it's um and it was it was quite fun just building these building these i, I wasn't sure i was going to go about it when I first started, but I just put the flat ride down, built the path loop, and then started building some coasters. And we were making so much money that I was able to just chuck tons of cash at the coasters. Again, we're still making big money on the entrance tickets. It was dropped off there. So I presume that's where I'm building a ride. And then when it jumps up is where I've opened the new ride. Almost Halloween. Yeah, I'm not sure about this coaster. What is it? Let's see if I can work it out. I don't know. I don't know. It just seems a bit strange having it, having it with the um, the way you can make the track go upside down. It probably would have worked better as a suspended coaster. And we've completed it. Stoo! Then with the suspended coasters, then you've got it swinging around. And but uh, yeah, so this was Create a Carnage. Quite fun. Um, I enjoyed that. It was only a two-year scenario, so it was very quick. Um, good chance to build some stupid coasters and um, just have a little bit of fun. So this was Create a Carnage. I am Stu. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.